One day, King Rollo visited the shoe shop. He bought himself a new pair of shoes. Of course, he already had shoes. Kings have lots of shoes. Lots and lots and lots of shoes. But King Rollo's new shoes were different. His new shoes had laces. King Rollo smiled and put on his new shoes. Then he looked at the laces. He called for his magician. When the magician arrived, King Rollo said, uh, Do up my laces for me, please. I can't always be around to do up your laces, said the magician. Make a magic spell to do them up, said King Rollo. But that would be a waste of magic, said the magician. I'll show you how to do them up. <laughs> Left over right and under and pull. Make a little loop. Now make another. One loop goes over and under the other. Have you got it? he asked. Ahem, <clears throat> said King Rollo uncertainly. The magician showed him again. <laughs> Left over right and under and pull. Make a little loop. Now another. One loop goes over and under the other. Now all you need to do is practice, he said. King Rollo went into his bedroom and closed the door. Soon strange noises came from the bedroom. Right and oh, uh, blow. <coughs> Make a little loop. Oh, oh and sometimes what sounded like a shoe being thrown. <laughs> Left over right and... Oh, oh. Make a little loop. Oh, no. <clears throat> Make a little loop. Oh, oh. King Rollo has got new shoes, the magician explained to the cook. Lace-ups. But gradually, the noises from the room grew less and less. That afternoon, Queen Gwen arrived to have tea with King Rollo. room but before they could knock the door opened and King Rollo came out oh said Queen Gwen I do like your new shoes they're lace-ups yes smiled King Rollo and I did them up myself 